So hi everybody, Craig Hanson. Welcome to my video guides here looking at the differences between the iron shot and the driver shot. And it's got so much to do with a couple of basic moves and how we stand. The angle of attack is influenced here greatly. We're going to stop fat shots, thin shots, get some more compression on the ball, hit the driver a bit higher, get the launch angle a bit higher, a little less spin on it for everybody to hit the ball a little bit further. Right, let's get into it. Guys, have a look at the address position here. We've got, what we're going to do when we're looking at force plates and mats and the things where we measure top professionals, we're seeing on average with your mid to high irons, top professionals having around 55 to 65% of the weight favoring the lead foot. Now this helps us to hit the ball a little bit more on the way down. It stops us from, prevents us a little bit from hitting the ball fat and thin. And this is a great way to go about it. With the driver, we're not doing this as much. Okay, it's very, very important to notice that. What we're going to be looking at here is the shaft lean in the address position, the lead arm and the shaft in one line. Now, when we're looking at facts on tour, great ball strikers, when we're looking at 90 degrees, okay, that's, that's your 90, that's your zero. Obviously 90, 80, moving into this direction, 45. Now, the best iron players in the world are looking at around 12 to you know, 15 degrees of shaft lean at impact. So we're getting over this way. Now, when we have that, the angle of attack's a little bit steeper, so we have less chance of hitting the grass before the ball or hitting it thin, but pressing it out and de-lofting the club a little bit and getting a boring flight, consistent ball flight, shaft lean is very, very important. And that's why in the iron shots here, we get a bit of shaft lean at the start. Okay, so weights left, balls middle, maybe slightly left of that, lead arm and shaft is in one line. We're getting the left hip a little bit over the left ankle and then we're in a good place to go. Your impact position is gonna be further forwards four to six inches of lateral movement with the hips opening to 35 to 50. But if we're standing over here, you know, you've got no chance where it makes the game even more difficult than it really is. Now, we're looking at getting some basic tips here. Once you've got your stance, you can think about a lot of things in your stance because you're not, you're not having four thoughts when you're swinging, but you're, it's a thinking sport in a way that we think here, ball, weight, left, you're getting yourself in a position before you hit it. Now in the backswing, really for you guys, what you're looking at is getting your, your right shoulder behind your left and keeping your head very still, okay? We're not moving off the ball, that will lift your shoulders up. That's hard to get some pressure back down on this golf ball. So by really keeping yourself centered with your head, the ball's not moving around. We really don't want to be moving around as well it's hard to hit the ball consistently. If you do have a touch of movement, make sure you come back, but really try and keep that, keep that head nice and centered. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied in helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Now the low point of the swing arc the swing circle, right? That's four inches, 10 centimeters in front of the ball. So a lot of people don't realize that when we hit the ball, that's not the low point, the low point's in front. So it's ball and ground. And the only way you can do that is by getting yourself across. So you can actually touch and hit the ground in that area. Now, if I'm back over here, I literally can't reach it. Okay, so looking at swing geometry, now this is something that we show in world-class golf instruction. Guys, you've got to work with evidence-based material. Pop your mobile phone there, film it, draw a line, have a look where all the top players are, because they're just about all the same. Have a look where the club golfers are. They're not, you know? So instead of sort of, you know, trying this and trying that, work, you know, we all know that when we get good at something, we work at something consistently with good information. You know? Proven biomechanic information, uh, slow motion clips, top players, and that's what we're showing you, how to use your phones, how to use an app, and get in there and really work on things yourself. Become your own coach. And all the information in one place there, 700 videos. So weights, left, head still, shaft and left arm in one line. Keep, keep the head still. Oh, I got some good contact on that one. Right, and that's how we'll be looking at keeping your head still and a few basic tips there for your iron shots. Now looking at the driver, it's a different animal. You with me? Now this is the one, this is the important one. We all want to drive it a long way, don't we? And hit it nice and high. Now, what we're trying to do here, the iron shot 
it's only a slither, it's only a little bit. We're hitting it around four degrees on the way down. And this one, we're trying to hit it a little bit more on the way up, or at least level. Okay, so we're not trying to hit this one on the way down. When we hit the ball higher and on the way up, okay, we have less spin. Okay, so we have high launch, low spin, less resistance in the air. That's why it goes further. Okay, that's why McElroy's hitting it three or four degrees on the way up. Now, if you've got two players, right, just hang in there, two players, and both are hitting at 100 miles per hour, and one's hitting five degrees on the way down, one's hitting five degrees on the way up, there's a 30 yard difference. So isn't that amazing if you're playing with one of your friends out there and you want to hit it further than him, try some of this stuff out. I'm going to show you how to set yourself up, where to pop your right foot back. Just bear with me and this will get, uh, you know, the ball to launch higher with a little bit less spin. So obviously we're not leaning everything in now over this way. We want to load up the best drivers of the golf ball over the years have been people that have had wide, long swings, really loading up onto this right leg, wider stances. We want a wide stance because we get a little bit wider, we have a longer flat spot here down the bottom. If we get narrow, we get a bit, a bit like a V shape. So nice and wide, as wide as you can with your drivers. And here we go, we'll have a look at this the ball. We're gonna be playing it up towards the left heel. Now, some of you guys might have it inside that a little bit. You have to f experiment around a little bit with that. You know, there's a, we all have a different low points here. Even some people pop it right up off the toe here. But what we're gonna be looking at is not as much shaft lane, wider stance, okay? Now, from here, you're getting the end of the shaft at your belly button or just slightly left of it, okay? You won't be leaning the shaft as much. Really great drivers of the golf ball, not having much shaft lean, somewhere between zero to three degrees. You do see some exceptions to the rule, but generally speaking, not much shaft lean at all there. Now, when we're getting ourselves with the ball left, what we're trying to do in a golf swing, we're trying to go around on its natural swing up, down to a low point and back up and around. Now, if we've got that right and the club face is in a good position, you know, we're in a pretty good place. But when we start to hit it on the way up, obviously the club starts to go a little bit around, okay? So to counterbalance that, what we do is we drop the right foot back a touch. Now, Ben Hogan mentioned this back in the day, driving the right foot back with the longer clubs, balls forwards, okay? Now, we're going to try and swing back, load up onto this right side. And when we swing through the ball, I want you guys to try and get a bit of an arch in your back if your body can still do it. All right, let's have a look. So wide stance, dropping the foot back, balls up to the left, load up onto this right side, feel some pressure into that right leg. And left the T, that's about as good as I've got, left the T in the ground, which also demonstrates that the ball's been hit on the way up nice and high. Felt good, that one. So guys, there's a couple of thoughts and feels. The subtle variations between the iron and the driver. Check out worldclassgolf.com, the uh, community room, the chat room. It's a lot of fun writing and talking to each other about the game of golf.